can have nice spicy sauces and soup. Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Lynn and Anthony have come by for a visit. Are these spicy? No, no. those are the those are the uh, sweet no. ones. Spicy. Are those bell peppers? No, they're not bell peppers. They're like the I don't know if you've ever seen those in I a have, jar. They're they, just like the red. They, they're a little bit bigger though, uh, and they're red like that. They, oh yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. a pimento. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we need to get this this pepper plant staked up. I, this is like a year old now. Where this one? Oh, this one. And we need to stake it up because it's starting to fall over. But this is I, I guess it's just Thai chilies. I, but I love them. Marcel love them. loves to so come spicy. out, and they cut. She picks these green ones like this. Yeah. And then they get red in the sun. And she no, she puts them in her uh, in her soy sauce and vinegar. Yeah, yeah. No, to, that's, to, that's what she to make does. it spicy. Yeah. But the red ones are hot too. Oh, they they're uh, they're they're they're, they're, they're get they're, they're get you hot. Yeah. <laughs> you you don't eat them like peanuts. No. 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 Uh, but I I love this plant and. The ants, you can see it does have a few ants on it. Yeah, but not a lot, not like ours. Well, it's the black and, and those it's are the black ones. ones. We have the red the red ants are the ones that really kill the tree. Yeah. Well the ants, what those ants are doing is they probably got some aphids trapped up there. And they have like their own little aphid farm. Mm. And they, they harvest the aphids. <clears throat> is that, that white stuff? Yeah, that's the 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 well, the aphids are white, and they leave a little milky. Yeah, yeah. They did that to my tomato plant, and my to then it died. Yeah. But you know, you know, this plant is so healthy. There's, there's the leaves are nice. There's no, there's no rot on them. There's yeah. no, there's no leaves that are chewed by by insects. And of all the all the things that we've planted here, the peppers do the best, and this one in particular. Yeah, I mean, look at it. that got the least care. The leaves are so healthy. This, this plant got the least care of any of them, probably, and it's, it's thriving. That's why you cook it. I like the papaya trees. Look, the papaya, let's go halang halang. papaya. Yeah, it's growing very We've got a couple here. Well, I think all the females have fruit on them now. There are, there are, there's a male plant? Yeah, huh? Yeah, you see the you see the ones over there? The, both those are male, the ones with the flowers. Oh, wow. You don't know that? Then? No, so what do you, so do you need a male and a female to get to get the fruit? I, you know, I don't know, I no. probably, but um, I, every, when we, when you notice the males, when they get about hip high and they start to flower, everybody would just wanted to cut them down. You know, why? They said, well, because they don't make any fruit. But why cut them down? Huh, you know, but if you go by on a, on a calm day, it smells like you're in the middle of a honeysuckle plantation. Uh, it's a beautiful smell from the flowers. Well, the, na Mother Nature must have created it for a reason. Well, I, I, I wanted them because be a reason they attract them. bees. Uh, and bees are so hard to come by here, why not have a... I feel like I can smell something that smells like that. What is that? Uh, is that, is that, the, that, is might, that, that, that might be me. No, no, I can smell it. It's very flowery smell. It's, very, it's definitely not you because it's a very flower, flowery smell. So it's definitely not me. No, it's definitely not you. Have you, hot, have you actually gotten to eat any of your papayas yet? We haven't. And I don't know, there's some, these over here are a little bit bigger. This is the other thing I want, is okra. Look at this okra. You know, and okra is easy to grow here. We, I planted a whole package of okra, not one grow. Really? Yeah, we bought it, we bought it in the store, just a package of okra seeds. The, uh, there's like five or six things that grow well here, and okra is one of them. You guys aren't even picking them. Yeah, I mean, it, we had so many. Oh my God. There's seeds in that? Yeah. Yeah, any of the, yeah, and those are the best seeds, because, um... The problem, I didn't know to take. Sorry, no, In fact, you know what, I, you know what, Lynn? Oh, okay. I would go, if you really want some of these what, seeds... What are these things? Those are like the worst beetle in the world. Oh my god! If they get yeah, if they get in your stuff, the, these are what these are what go after the squash uh, and the melons and just about everything. So, what I was saying, Lynn, mm -hmm. is don't use those seeds. Why? Because they, I think that they lay eggs in there. Oh. In those uh, in the seed pods, mm -hmm. and then when you plant them, they'll come back. There's more okra. Where did we take it all out? Yeah. yeah, we took it all out. We had another couple rows over there. Um, yeah, you need you need to make like that so it yes. grows so it grows properly. We yeah. just have like a teepee. 
and the ampelia is just growing up to the top of the teepee and then it falls off. <laughs> but yeah, take those take those seed pods. I love okra. I like to cook it in everything. Yeah. But see, this is our this is a, the scourge of our existence here. Wow, it's a lot of beetles. Yeah, and they get on everything. And squash, you can't grow squash here because of these. Because of these, and, and there's no melons because no, of those. There's no type of particular spray that will kill just the, the malathion. The malathion will kill them. Uh, how about um, is there another insect that you can put in here or that'll eat them? You know, I, I I'd give my left arm for uh, a half a dozen pods of praying mantis. Oh, we have a lot of praying mantis. Yeah. They coming out. They're they're always in our house. <laughs> they're nice. They're I've big. I've seen one around here. Ah, uh, we have so a big. lot. Uh, but I'm sure the praying mantis would kick their butts because Those praying mantis delicious. kill anything. Yeah, we need that. We don't have any lemon seed on our property. Well, we've got. These see, are the things I in, want. We put want, these in rows. I want the chilies. I want avocado, lemon seed, and okra. We've got a couple avocado around here. I don't know. I can't remember exactly where they are. I love, I this love avocado. Too much, Daddy. This one is too That's the tree. But we've got like 130 of the lemoncito. We've got, I think, six yeah. regular orange and like six yellow lemon. Oh wow! Did you? Is this one of the trees you got at the nursery? This no, tugus? that tugus was just, uh, wild. just wild. Yeah. Wow. How, how are the trees doing that you got at the nursery? You got so many. That they, we got like a 150 all together. These are the lemon, the lemon seeds. Those are from the nursery? Yeah. Wow. Uh, no, we bought these at a nursery in Ubai. Uh, yeah, somewhere around Ubai. How much? Uh, they were three for 100 pesos. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's the right one. Uh, the lemon and the orange were 40 pesos each. Mm. Do you still have any fish left in the pond? There's still a lot of fish left in there. We harvested them. I would imagine you can't get all of them. Yeah, the only way you could get all of them was drain it. Right. And and then uh, then harvest it. I think we're just going to leave that amount in there. They'll they're spawning. Yeah. They're, they're making babies. Wow. The babies have cover from the Kang Kong. Is this green stuff? Can you eat that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing that you eat. I eat that. That's the one that I eat. Yeah. It you oxygenates the water, shades the water. The fish eat it. It gives cover for the fingerlings. The fry. Wow. See, this was all our eggplant here. This was all eggplant, and we're taking it out for. We want to put more trees. So easy uh, it's easy to grow, but we got worm problems here. Oh, so when you open the eggplant, this you can't even eat it. Yeah, there's a worm in it. Uh, and we had a we had that same problem before, and so we cut the plants down to like nothing. Uh -huh. And they came back and we got like a... It's a moth, right? Isn't it like a white moth yeah. or something like that that, that flies so around? when the plant started bearing fruit again, it was okay for a little while and then the, the worms are right back so in you, it. So. so it's good you're getting to know what you, what you, what's worth growing and what's not. Right. I mean, and that's what all this was. This was just a, a big experiment to see what would work There's and no what wouldn't. no sense of growing eggplant if you're just going to have to throw it all out every time. Well, you just have to replant. I mean, the, when you... And you, you have to kind of rotate where you, you plant get five it, or right? six eggplant out of a plant, and then the worms get to it. We just might as well pull it out of the ground. You know, Brian, my grandma, he just, you know, if you already have a lot of worms, he just cut it. That's what and we it did. Grew back. Yeah, that's what we did. All these we cut down to almost nothing. Wow, and the, and then they grew back, they bore fruit, and then the worms got in them again. Wow, this is squash. Good size. Brian, this is squash. Yep, that is squash. I'm bringing my fishing rod here next time. <laughs> yeah, why Can not? I bring my fisher on. <laughs> Marcel wants to uh, build a little dock out there. Yeah, why not? And a gazebo. That'd be nice. <laughs> if I threw a handful, of, there's probably I don't know. There's maybe forty kilos of fish left in there. That's a, that's a good size fish. Yeah. yeah, they're like they're like palm size now. Yeah, yeah. A lot. It's a lot in here. And you already did a harvest. Yeah, right? we already took 150 kilos out. Wow. How many? Uh, you sell it for 90 kilos. 90 per kilo. 90 pesos per kilo. Yeah, we sold them for 90 pesos a kilo. Yeah, we, uh, from all those that we lost. You still have to feed them? You still have to buy feed and stuff? We're not feeding these much. We, we are feeding them, but just a little bit. Nothing like what we were before because there's not nearly as many fish in here. Right. But yeah, we we do we do still feed them. And we, these things will eat all the mosquito larvae and everything. They, I think they eat everything. Yeah. Um, we had a problem. Uh, 
because we had a. We Do had they a, breathe air? Do they breathe air? Yeah, it's the, like they're gulping air. Yeah, and they're hunting for something to eat. Oh. We had a, a termite swarm, a oh. big swarm one oh. night, right? And we got that light in there. Uh -huh. And we ended up losing about 100 fish because they just gorged themselves and ate so much. And it got the, the wings from the termites got caught in their gills, oh and we God. lost about 100 fish. Wow. So that's a light out there in the middle. Yeah. And what does that do? It for attracts you? bugs and they eat it. Oh, they it does. eat the bugs. It's free free feed. And it, and, it, and, that, and it works. And it works. I was wondering what that was. Now I know. Wow. Smart. That's a great idea. Yeah, it is. Where did you come up with that idea? I I just seen, seen it. it somewhere uh, yeah, I just seen it done before. Have a lot of fish that I do have. Another cat. I really don't. I, get, I think I'd seen it done at a catfish pond before. This pond will get higher during the rain, right? Right. Yeah, it'll get all the way up to this bank. I've got one pipe there as a drain. Just in case for overflow? Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll get seven feet deep when it's full. The hard part has been keeping it from drying up. So you actually have to add water into it from your well? Well, when the wells, when we get enough water in the well, we do. Um, you can see it rained. Well, we got a pretty good rain like a week ago. Yeah. And you can see from the bank there that it's fallen about six inches, maybe, yeah. in a week because of no rain. Okay. And before the pump was coming off, off and on automatically with the depth of the well, but now it's so low that I've got to work it by hand again. I mean, it just needs to start raining. I mean, this is this watermelon. Uh, those are watermelon, yep. Yeah. That's what I think that's where we got that big watermelon. Nice. But you can see from the leaves. Yeah, they look like our leaves yep. from the ants. Well, they, that's those red beetles. Oh, the beetles are doing that. For our, yep. Ours look like this, but it's the ants. The red ants. It's just the insect load here is crazy. You can I mean, do. Yeah. And Joe Seeley, I mean, he, he's really experienced in this kind of stuff. And when they were first started their farming three or four years ago, they were using the insecticide commercial fertilizer route and for large field crops. And when all was said and done, they were breaking even because it, you have to use so much of it. And when you get into that cycle, you can't get away from it. So I'm just trying to grow things that don't require it. The okra, never have to touch it. Um, everything else. And okra is easy to sell here. Everybody eats it. Everybody eats it. Everybody eats it. <laughs> what do we got? These lemon cheetos are doing really well, huh? You know, and that's kind of that's that's the main reason that we're we're switching us over to orchard. Yeah. It's because they're they're basically maintenance free. Yeah. And they're easy. <laughs> like, and what 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 proto stand doesn't have lemon cedo in it? Exactly. Every single one does. Exactly. So we've got 130 of them in here, and we're going to plant another. I think we've got room for 81 more. That's absolutely fantastic. So, so we'll that's have what this is, a, a, the, the a, an orchard. Lemon cedo orchard. Wow. Yeah. That's a great idea. So we're going to plant more uh, lemons and oranges, because what produce stand, well, some have lemons and oranges. I think the problem is they can't get them. Right. There you go. So we're digging it. Well, look at these papaya. See, how big do they get before you pick them? I have no idea. It just seems like these trees, I've never seen a papaya tree grow so fast. I mean, we had them growing wild in our yard. And they were just like a foot high. And then all of a sudden you come out a month later and they're like eight feet tall. Yeah, come over here and smell these papayas. I mean, I wouldn't mind living in a papaya plantation if it had males in it. The rice house from your yeah. um, thingy. Yeah, just stick your head in there and take a good whiff. Okay. You gotta... Yeah, that's what I was smelling over there yeah. when the wind was blowing. Like honeysuckle, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was smelling. Wow, that's so nice. I'm glad I didn't let everybody cut them down. Yeah. And I wonder if you need the spores for the other plants. I don't I, know. I don't know. I, I would assume that you do. I mean, that. God's usually, God's a pretty sharp guy, and I don't think he would uh, have a plant around that didn't have any use at all. Well, 
Well, I think that's going to conclude our wander around. What happened to that watermelon, love? Oh, well, I wanted to take a video. Oh, you've got it right there. Kai Kyla stealing our watermelon. And then she said, we have watermelon. We have watermelon, but... This is a volunteer watermelon that came up in the garden. Watermelon they harvested it two or three days ago. She said, do you have watermelon, but like this? Like this, like that? The farm, huh? Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.